Next problem from the Blue Book Test Preview gives us an indefinite integral, and we have to try to evaluate it. Now, if you look at these answer options, they have a couple of them that involve arc sine, and you kind of have the square root of a difference of two squares, so that would be something similar to the formula that yields an arc sine antiderivative, but we would not have an x in this numerator if we we're going to get an answer that involves arc sine. So these, I, I realize why they're there as distractors, but we can right away rule these out. We're going to have to do a u substitution to evaluate this. So if I let u equal what's under the root, and then I take the derivative of u with respect to x, I get negative 18x. What am I going to put in place of the dx when I carry out my substitution? So I can divide by negative 18x, I can multiply the dx across. This fraction is going to replace the dx. So when I copy the x from the numerator and then replace what's under the root with u while simultaneously changing that to a one-half power and then moving it to the numerator by using a negative exponent, I get the x that's left from the numerator to cancel with the x that goes in for the dx. I do pick up a new coefficient uh, of a negative 18, but that negative 18 is in the denominator. So I'm just gonna copy that negative one over 18 into my next line. I can then take the antiderivative of u to the negative one-half Adding 1 to the exponent gets me to positive 1 half. Dividing by the new exponent, dividing by 1 half is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 2. I'd be a little worried about possibly choosing A if you got to this point, or excuse me, possibly choosing B. A is the right answer. Possibly choosing B if you recognize to do the substitution. It's a little dangerous to jump straight to the answer when you see this negative 18 in the denominator pop up in your problem because after the antiderivative is done, we actually get a new coefficient of two within that numerator due to dividing by the new exponent. And negative two over 18 obviously reduces to negative one ninth.